So I'd like to give a brief uh, recap of, of my journey through Christianity so far. So um started about a thousand four hundred years ago um, when I was kind of in a leadership position in a pagan kingdom in, a, well, let's say King Arwald of uh, the Isle of Hoyt. And uh, there were a couple monks with uh, shaven heads uh, showed up and uh, well you know I was uh, kind of had this wooden throne and a wooden building and people would come and they'd have these questions and they'd be like hey help us out and I do what I could anyway so these two guys in these brown robes they show up and they're like okay you gotta uh, repeat this gospel after me um, you have to do it right now. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Um, well, uh, you know, we got like freedom of religion here. Uh, people believe what they want to believe. And you can't force uh, your beliefs on uh, on anyone here. Um, okay, but they're like, well, you need to at least nominally be a Christian. It's like, okay, whatever. Okay, go on your merry way. And, um, well, it wasn't good enough for them. So, uh, Kaidwala, uh, he uh, was really inspired by the Old Testament and the genocides of uh, Joshua and Judges, and uh, he's like, that's it, we're going to do that. We're going to genocide uh, all of the Isle of Wight. And uh, that's exactly what they did. And, um, yeah, there was a siege, and, uh, well, then they were killing the women and children and everybody. And, uh, yeah, they killed me too. Anyways, so that was my introduction to Christianity. Now, um, so I decided, hey, yeah, you know, I, I don't really like doing business with these people. And so I uh, was uh, in Buddhism for a while. Uh, I went uh, north and then uh, east. And then I was in China for a while. And then um, uh, eventually uh, after the, uh, you know, the Great Flotilla from China, yeah, then I uh, rejoined, and I was doing the Navy stuff um, with the UK, and the Caribbean and stuff. Um, and there were, I went to church there when I was in uh, kind of uh, this, uh, it was very greasy, uh, I don't know, greasy is the word, maybe smoky. Um, and they were all like, oh, hellfire, everyone, you know, that doesn't follow us, we'll, we'll go to demons. And uh, I was like, well, uh, you know what, uh, I think maybe that's better than uh, <laughs> what you have to offer. And so at the end of that lifetime, I went and I uh, joined the Grey Aliens uh, underground. Um, you know, <laughs> anything to get away with these Christians. And uh, so, yeah, I was there for a while. And uh, they're good people, they're good people. Um, and, uh, then, uh, well, the earth needed help, and, uh, so I came back, uh, now I'm here, and then in, uh, 2019-ish, I was reading a book by Dolores Cannon, Jesus in the Scenes, and, uh, she said Jesus was a good guy. Jesus said, uh, forgive and love one another. I was like, what? Are you serious? He wasn't a genocidal maniac like the rest of these Christians? And uh, I was like, well, all right, maybe I'll give uh, Christianity a go. And uh, so I uh, forgave Christianity, or forgave Jesus at least. And then uh, that that kind of, I saw kind of uh, an angel coming down from the cloud and saying, okay, you can talk to Christians now. And then uh, within a couple of days, some Mormon missionaries came along and invited me to their church. And then I went around a uh, different church pretty much every weekend. And um, then there was the pandemic lockdowns. And there was only one church. And so I started going there for a while. Um, and at first they were like, oh yeah, you're great. And then when they found out that it was about forgiveness and love and um, following Jesus' commandments, they're like, no, no, no. It's about accepting that Jesus was tortured and killed and uh, that means you don't have to follow the commandments because he died. He died for you to sin. Uh, and I was like, but, but how about the commandments 
you know, we got to forgive and love. That's that's how we get to ascension. He's like, no, you have to stop believing in that uh, or you can't come here anymore. Anyway, so I got banned. And then I tried going to another church. And uh, long story short, same story. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, then uh, I read, uh, you know, Origins of Violence. And they were like, well, yeah. It's true. The uh, Greek uh, Aeneid and the uh, Hebrews uh, Old Testament has been used throughout history as a, an excuse for genocide. Um, and um, so because these agricultural people were short and the indigenous people were tall. And so they would go around and they'd be like, oh, they're giants. So that means we can kill them. Um, and that's what they did, and that's what the conquistadors did, and that's what they all like to do. Uh, even uh, Cromwell, uh, he was like, oh, because he was a Protestant, and then the Irish were Catholics. So he's like, okay, let's follow the book of Joshua, and then completely genocide all the Irish, or like a bunch of the Irish anyways. They, you know, they wanted to, but that doesn't mean they succeeded. <laughs> but anyways, um... And, uh, yeah, so, so that's been my experience of Christianity so far. Um, I don't know if you guys have had different experiences. Uh, feel free to share, uh, like, and subscribe, or, or whatnot. Um, 